Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I just wanted to show you this really cool emulator called Techno Parrot. Now what this allows you to do is play a few selected PC-based arcade games on your own hardware. Today I'm just going to be showing off Initial D Stage 7 AAX. The emulator is fairly easy to set up as long as you can find the games and it supports a wide range of games as you can see here. There's a little drop down menu. Mario Kart DX, Poke Tournament, there's a bunch of games that it supports, King of Fighters, some Street Fighter stuff, but today I only have one game. This is actually the very first time that I've set this up. I've heard about it for a while now, but I really haven't got around to doing it. I'm going to get right into some gameplay here. I do have a 1080p patch on, and I think the game runs amazingly on PC. I also don't have any steering wheel set up for PC or anything like that, so I'll be using an Xbox One controller. Fully mappable controls with most of these games here. Let's get right into some gameplay. So when you're starting the game up, it can take anywhere from 20 seconds to 40 seconds for the game to start up. I'm just going to wait it out a little bit. You'll get this little pop-up window here. And as long as you don't see any errors in this window, the game should start. So I'm not sure if the music in this game is copywritten. I think it is, so I'm going to have to turn the sound down. But the sound works great on the system I'm on. I'm running a 4790K CPU at 4 gigahertz with the 1060 GTX NVIDIA GPU. They do recommend an NVIDIA GPU to run this correctly, but they do have AMD patches and fixes built into the newest versions of Techno Parrot. This is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to get right into some gameplay and show you how it looks and performs. Unfortunately, I do have to mute the sound. I wish there was a way just to turn the music off in the emulator, but I haven't found a way yet. The audio is working perfectly though with this emulator. So as you can see, the game's running pretty flawlessly. It is at 60 FPS. I do have a 1080p patch. They also offer a 2K and a 4K patch. For some reason, I cannot get it to take the full screen. It's just my resolution settings. I did want to record this in 4K. Doesn't make much of a difference though. But overall, I think 1080p looks pretty good for an initial D game. There are other games that I want to test out. I need to get my hands on some of them. I definitely want to test out a few Street Fighter games, Mario GP, and Pokémon Tournament. If the games run as well as this game is running, I'll definitely be using this emulator at least every other day. I do plan on putting a tutorial together for this. It's actually really simple to set up as long as you have the games and the executable files. If you want to get this up and running tonight, all you have to do is do a quick YouTube search for Initial D Stage 7 on PC or Initial D Stage 7 Techno Parrot Tutorial. You'll probably run across the video I saw. It does have the download links for everything you need to get Initial D Stage 7 up and running. Really appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to show this off and I plan on doing some more videos in the future. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.